Now, this next problem is an estimation problem, even though it doesn't state so here. Estimation means that we use rounded numbers to calculate with. So, I'm gonna round both of these numbers. It doesn't say how to round, so I could choose, I could round them to the nearest thousand, for example. Or I could round them to the nearest hundred, which is what I'm gonna do. And to choose how to round, you choose based on how good your mental math is, okay? So if I round this to the nearest hundred, here's the hundreds digit, here's seven, it means I round up. I get 4,200. And over here, here's the hundreds digit, this means I round up, so I get 1,900. And now, to subtract this mentally. I'm going to tell you a little trick here that helps you. Since this is so close to 2,000, let's first subtract 4,200 minus 2,000. Okay, this is an easy subtraction. My answer is 2,200. But I subtracted 100 too much, right? So I'm going to add that to my final answer to correct my error. So I get 2,300. Now I'm also going to calculate the exact answer so we can compare and see how much off our estimation is. So I'll subtract here. All right? 2 minus 5, we need to regroup here. Leaving 6 here, and 12. 12 minus 5. And then 6 minus 7, again we need to regroup. 16 minus 7 is 9. 0 minus 8. Again, regroup one more time. 10 minus 8. And then 3 minus 5. Okay, this answer is very close to our estimate. Now this last problem is also an estimation problem. And Matthew wrote that, that for us, so thank you Matthew. One piano teacher charges $38.90 per lesson and another charges $125.50 per month for lessons. Which one is cheaper? About how much will Matthew save in a month if he chooses the cheaper teacher? Okay, two questions. Let's take the first one. Which one is cheaper? And this is where we can use estimation. The first teacher charges $38.90 per, per lesson but we can round that and use the rounding number. We can round this to $40, right? And then this other one charges that much for four lessons. But the first number is for one lesson, right? This one here. So if we multiply this times four, then we can compare those two prices. We take four times this easy number, $40. Four times 40 is $160. And this other one charges only $125.50 for four lessons. So clearly the second teacher is cheaper, right? This one is the cheaper teacher, the second one. About how much will Matthew save in a month if he chooses the cheaper teacher? Okay, notice here some keywords. About how much? This word about means that we can use estimation, we can use rounded numbers. We do not need an exact answer. And then notice that it's in a month. We are not now calculating how much he saves in one lesson, okay? So in a month or four lessons, cost four times that with the first teacher. And then four lessons cost how much with the second teacher? Again, I'm going to round my number. I think I can just round it to the nearest 10, to $130. And the difference is how much he is going to save, which is $30. And that is now not an exact answer, okay? So, Matthew, how are your lessons going? Good? Okay, he says yes. You like playing? Yes? You know? I could teach you too, Matthew. You didn't know that? I like playing piano too. Okay, 
Well done with this lesson.